Hey, it's Nathan Silo from Oakcroft Films with our very first episode of Autism Actually Speaking. Now, because this is the first episode, I'd like to briefly explain what this series is all about. As a member of the autism community, it's my goal to share with you some of my experiences in hopes that it will benefit those who are interested in learning, including members, families, teachers, or advocates of the autism community. It's also my hope to promote the neurodiversity movement, which believes that different is not inferior. So today's topic comes from a concerned parent, wondering what to expect as their child enters adolescence. Well, keep in mind that all autistics are different. You met one autistic, you met one autistic. So not all my answers will apply to all cases because they are based on my experiences and resolutions. There will be many challenges that can be expected and that your child will need help with. The first will be the change itself. Many autistics have trouble being placed into new environments with different people. This especially made my transition from elementary school to middle school difficult. There may be issues settling into a new routine. My best recommendation to you is to try to keep the home a constant. Try to change as little as possible to help them feel more grounded and less unorganized. More than likely, your child's discomfort with change is a result of the fact that the autistic's mind works in a very logical, organized fashion. When this is disrupted at such a large scale, it often causes confusion and sensory overload. The second area I'd like to talk to you about is conflicts with other children. Unfortunately, autistics are huge bully magnets, and more than likely, it will get worse before it gets better. But just remember that it will get better, and make sure your child knows that too. Prepare them, but don't scare them. Most autistics have a special interest of some kind. For example, some of us are interested in math, or acting, or science, or trains, or buildings, or a number of other things. Make sure that while they're at home, they have access to pursuing those interests. This will help them keep a positive and hopeful attitude. But make sure that they do stay focused on schoolwork as well, so they don't fall behind. And also, attempt to teach them to stick up for themselves, because you won't always be there to protect them. Stick up for someone, protect them for a day. Teach someone to stick up for themselves, and you protect them for a lifetime. The next challenge you'll face is establishing a positive relationship between the child and the staff. Make sure that the child has an IEP to help further assist them in school. And also in my experience, it's wise to set up a meeting at the beginning of each year with you, your child, and your child's teachers. This will establish a friendship between the teacher and the child. And it will also show the teachers how they can best accommodate the needs of that child. And also, if your middle school principal has any competence, unlike my own, you should also try to establish a relationship between the principal and the child. Lastly, I'd like to touch on the most important tool that you can give your child, and that's self-sufficiency and independence. Now, I know most of you are probably concerned about the idea of your child growing up, but it is important that as your child gets older, that they are given more freedom and the ability to make their own decisions just as if they were a neurotypical. By doing this, you're preparing them for adulthood. Now, I'm not trying to say that you should stop giving them guidance, but just because they're autistic does not necessarily mean that they need to be treated or cared for like a child the rest of their lives. Now, there are exceptions to this rule, but not as many as you might think. If you have any questions or any topics that you would like addressed, please leave it in the comments below or message me on my Facebook. Also linked below. And remember, if you pet dogs with your face, you might be autistic.